Uh, hi Seamus, this is um, a quick video showing how to put the water into a tap. Now, there might be better ways of doing this. Uh, this is crude, uh, but it's, it's quite precise, um, but it works, it works. So if you look at this tap very quickly, I've, um, I'll just change the section view to that plane. Uh, I've got this tap drawn and fully functioning. It's hollow inside, and uh, in fact, on my desktop, I've got a graphic of it. You can see that's the tap itself. Now I want to fill that with water, and as long as the tap is drawn reasonably precisely, you can do the following. So I just closed that by mistake, so I'll open that up again. Uh, I don't really want to fill the handle with uh, water, so I'll just hide the handle for a moment. I'm in my completed assembly now. I don't want to fill that spindle with water, so I'll hide that as well. I'm just making life easy on myself in a moment. All I really want to do is fill the inner workings, the mechanism, if you like, of the tap with water. So if I just take another section view, yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to fill that void and all these voids with water. So. I basically want to draw a block like this. Now I've drawn that block big enough, it doesn't really matter how big, but big enough so I can bring the entire tap into it in a moment. I've called this part water. This is going to be the block of water I'll start with and I'll use the assembly to cut out the shape of the water. Now if you go to insert part, you can't actually bring an assembly into this block of water, which is what I want to do. But what you can do is in this assembly, remember I've got a few parts there, I've got all the mechanisms within the tap, I can save this as a part. So if I go File, Save As, and change this assembly to Part. And the only thing you have to make sure to do is tick all components, because if you don't do it, um, for instance, you can go Exterior and Exterior Components. It, 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 these will allow you to save it as a surface model, but I want a solid model. So select All Components, and press Save. It's now saved this assembly as a part. And I'm going to close that assembly, and I won't save my changes. And I will open up from my desktop the valve tap assembly. And this is a part. If you wanted, you could run with the feature recognition by ticking yes, and it would uh, rebuild all the, the geometries with all new features, but I don't want to do that for now. So there it is. So all I need to do now is open up my block of water, which hopefully is big enough, and go insert part and bring in the part. Now I know I've called that part assembly, but that's just careless naming on my behalf. So I want to put that uh, in the center. Just a little trick, by the way, that I've learned um, in the last week. If you want to be able to precisely position this in place, over here on the left-hand side, you can tick planes and axes and surfaces, and when you do that, the planes and axes and surfaces will actually come into the model and allow you to make them as normal. But I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to park that anywhere at all. And the handiest thing to, to do is just this. Insert, Features, Move, Copy. Now remember, this is not a single, it is a single part, but it's, it comprises of a series of bodies. So if I just select this, it will just move the outer casing. So I also need to get in here to the bodies and carefully select all the other little bits and pieces of the tap that I want to move as well. Okay? And you can either use constraints, or what I'm going to use is this Translate Rotate button, and I'm going to drag it, not like that, I'll cancel that, and try that again, I'm going to drag it by the arrow, not the circle, and make sure it goes over, just so that it's in the middle of the, the block, get that work in that direction, I'll drag the red arrow now in this direction, and just to do things a little differently this time, I'll leave that there, I will mate it so the top is perfectly flush, so if I go insert, features, move, copy, Again, I need to select all the components. Make sure they're all selected. And this time I will use constraints and I will mate the top of the block with the top of my tap and it should go down like that. So there I have it. I've got the tap nice and snugly within this block of water. If I turn the view to uh, shaded with hidden details, you can see there it is sitting within the block of water. Now if I go to insert, features, combine, the main body is going to be the block of water, and I want to subtract the other, um, all the other solids. And you get this warning here, um, just take all bodies, press OK. Now it's almost complete. I say almost because I only have three bodies. Uh, ideally, I want the bit of water in the center to be standalone, but that's never going to happen as long as this 
is not cut open at the side here. So what you're going to have to do is start two simple sketches. Start a sketch on this end grain if you like. And I'll just make that bigger. And features extrude cut. You could be a bit more careful than I here. Just You want to cut that in so that it just hits the surface. I'm not going to waste time. I'm going to just drag it in a little bit like that. And press all bodies again. Okay. Now it's opened up the the part from that side and finally what you must do because mine is at an angle what I'm going to do is put a plane on along that arc and there's a plane and on that plane I'm going to sketch another rectangle a massive rectangle this time and what that's going to do is cut away all the water beneath the tap and also open up the tap now if I turn back on the, the shade, you can see what I have. I've now isolated the water in the middle of the tap and all three openings have been opened out. What that will allow me to do is this. Quite simply, I can right click and hide the outer water. Now that is a perfect representation of the water that will fill every void within the tap. Now you can see when I drew my tap, I had a small mistake made there. I had this little sliver. I suppose that's just bad draftsmanship on my behalf. But um, if you didn't want that, you could quite simply right click and hide that body. That would go away. But if you want to be able to bring this into the model, then of course you're going to have to apply water. So go to appearances, organic, water, and a heavy ripple water looks best. Now I've got something else in there. Uh, so save this. But again, uh, this is already a part. So just go save it. And then open up your assembly again. Open. Uh, sorry, now I have to go rooting for that. And open up the uh, assembly. And finally, I can just simply bring that water in as a part. Insert water. And there it is. And the whole thing will mate as normal. So um, I put it there, for instance. That's the water that will fit inside that tap. It doesn't look much now because it's not um, uh, rendered, but it will look like water in a moment. And you can just mate the curvature of that with the curvature of that, and so on. So you can drag it and position it in and, and mate it perfectly. And trust me, that will fit perfectly within the, the tap.